In this video, I'll teach you how to create a two-week look-ahead filter in Microsoft Project. Back a couple weeks ago, a project manager reached out to me and asked if I had any YouTube videos on how to create a two-week look-ahead filter. With regret, I told him no, but I also told him one is on the drawing board. Today, that video has arrived. I will now be teaching you how to create that two-week look-ahead filter, so let's get started. There are actually two ways to create a two-week look-ahead filter in Microsoft Project. One method is to create two custom fields and a custom filter. The other method is to use some built-in features in Microsoft Project. I'll be demonstrating both of these in this video. Using the method to create two custom fields and a custom filter, I want to publicly acknowledge a fellow colleague of mine named John Jensen. John is a former Microsoft Project MVP, and he suggested this solution to the problem. So thank you, John, for that. So first, we need to create the custom fields. To do this, click the Project tab and click the Custom Fields button in the Properties section of the ribbon. In the Custom Fields dialog, click the Type Pick List button and select the Date Type. Select the first available date, click the Rename button, and enter a name like Today, and click the OK button. Then click the Formula button, and in the Formula dialog, click the Field Pick List button, go down to the Project Fields, select the Date Type, and then select the value Current Date. There's the formula for calculating today's date. Click the OK button, and then click the OK button in the Confirmation dialog. In the Calculation for Task and Group Summary Rows section, also select the Use Formula option. Then select the Next Available Date field and click Rename again. And name this something like Two Weeks, for example, and then click the OK button. For that field, click the Formula button again and enter the following formula. By the way, I've included this formula in the description of this video so you can use copy and paste. What this formula does is to use the project date add built-in function. What it'll do is take the current date and add 10 days to it using the schedule shown on the standard calendar. If your project is not using the standard calendar, you will need to enter the name of your project calendar there. This is why I recommend using the standard calendar. It makes life simple. Then click the OK button. And again, in the confirmation dialog, click the OK button again. And then once again, select the Use Formula option in the Calculation for Task and Group Summary Rows section. When finished, click the OK button. After creating those two new custom fields, I think it's always a good idea to test them to make sure they're working right. So let's go ahead and insert the custom fields in the default Gantt chart view. I'll right-click on the Start Column header, choose Insert Column, and I'll start typing the word Today, and there it is, the Date 1 field. By golly, there's Today. Then I'll right-click again on the Start Column header, choose Insert Column. I'll type the word TWO, and I can choose the Two Weeks custom field in Date 2. Well, by golly, there's Today's Date. That's correct. There's the date for two weeks from today. 
That's also correct. So I think those two custom fields are working correctly. After doing this, I can go ahead and right click on the column headers of both columns and choose Hide Column to bring things back to normal. The next step in the process is to create the custom filter. To do that, click the View tab to display the View ribbon. Click the Filter Pick List button and down near the bottom of the menu choose New Filter. In the Filter Definition dialog, give the filter a name. I'd like to call it Two Week Look Ahead. Then create the filter as follows. The first field name is Scheduled Start. Scheduled Start. The test is greater than. And the value that we're testing against will be the custom today field. Let's see if we can find it here. There it is, date one. Then in the and or column for the second row, choose and. And then again, we're going to look for scheduled start. And this is going to be less than or equal to. And the second value we're testing against is that two weeks custom field. So again, scheduled start is greater than today. And scheduled start is less than or equal to that date in the two weeks custom field. Then select the checkbox called Show Related Summary Rows. Click the Save button. Then let's go ahead and test the new custom filter right away. When I click the Filter Pick List button, I can see that custom two-week look-ahead filter right at the top. I'll go ahead and select the filter. Let's go ahead and scroll over here and look. By golly! There's everything that is scheduled to start in the next two weeks from today. So I'd say that filter is working as designed. To clear the filter, just press the F3 function key on your computer keyboard. You might also need to hold down the function key before you press F3. But I would declare that custom filter a success. After creating the two custom fields and the custom filter, you'll want to copy them into your global.mpt file so that you can use them in all current and future projects that you manage. Here's how to do that. Click the File tab, then click the Info tab in the Backstage. On the Info page, Click the Organizer button to display the Organizer dialog. In the Organizer dialog, first click the Fields tab. On the right, you'll see the two custom fields that we created, the Today and the Two Weeks fields. Select them and click the Copy button to copy them into the global.mpt. Then click the Filters tab. On the right, you'll see the custom two-week look-ahead filter. Select it, click the Copy button to copy it into the global.mpt file as well. Then click the Close button to close the dialog and press the Escape key to exit the backstage. The chief limitation of using the two-week look-ahead filter is that it only allows you to look ahead two weeks. But what if you want to look ahead three weeks or even four weeks? Well, the nice thing is there's a built-in solution in Microsoft Project that'll give us this capability. It involves using the status date for the project plus the built-in filter that ships with Microsoft Project. Before I show you how to do this, however, 
let me recommend some customization that you should do to the Gantt chart screen. Click the Gantt chart format ribbon tab. Then click the grid lines pick list button at the left end and choose grid lines on the menu. In the line to change list, scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the status date item. Then click the type pick list button and choose the last item dash dot dash dot and so forth. Next, click the color pick list button and I recommend you choose red so this will really stand out. Then click the OK button. Next, click the Project tab, and over at the far right end, you'll find a Status Date button. By the way, the default status date, unless you say so otherwise, is NA. Click the Status Date button. Then, click the Pick List button for Select Date, and choose the date that would be two weeks from today. So today's the 15th, I'll pick the 29th. And then I'll click the OK button. Notice how the status date grid line shows up very dramatically in the Gantt chart screen. I like that. Then go to the View tab to display the View ribbon. Click the Filter Pick List button and select the built-in filter called Late Tasks. There we are. There's everything that is scheduled to start within the next two weeks. There's a two-week look ahead. But wait, I want a three-week look ahead. What I'll do is I'll go back to the Project ribbon, click the Status Date button again, click the Select Date, pick list, and this time I'll choose November the 5th and click OK. Then I do need to reapply the Late Tasks filter, so I'll click the View tab, click the Filter Pick List button, and once again I'll choose Late Tasks, and then bingo! There's everything that starts three weeks from today or less. So now you can see how you can use a built-in set of features in Microsoft Project to give you a flexible look ahead. Two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, whatever you want. Now you know how to create a two-week look ahead filter in Microsoft Project. But who knew it required the trick I showed you in the video? I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please like, share, and subscribe. If you do have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.